But you can check it out now. Listen, man, I hate to say I'm right, but God damn it. Ain't I right, bro? Now, I hate to say I told y'all so, but I told y'all. Uh, the shenanigans of Chirac, Jacksonville, okay, all these other places, Philadelphia, all that. Listen, man, that's not New York City. New York City is a whole different beast. And you'll never, ever get long-standing crime or people who are repping gangs who are going to be dominating the scene in New York and also dominating the music scene as well, okay? That's just the reality of things. So basically, we've seen from Gia Stein to Treyway to just so many other situations. We even saw with, like, Casanova, they're going to take you off the streets, okay? Even when we saw the mayor who recently came out, Eric Adams, he said, yo, Listen, he's thinking about bringing back Stop and Frisk. He, he basically doesn't like drill music. He was thinking about banning it. You should know there was going to be some repercussions, okay? And even though he did meet with drill rappers, there's a big indictment that came down today. Now, let me just read the headline. Basically, 23 members of the RPT gang got indicted today on a 65-count indictment for a bunch of crimes related to attempted murder, conspiracy to commit murder, and also criminal possession of weapons, okay? Now, let me just basically tell you who's in this gang that you might care about, okay? One guy is an up-and-coming rapper. He is very hot right now in the New York or Bronx drill scene. His name is D-Thing, but I'll read out some of the other names, okay? It's a whole lot of them, okay? They all got nicknames, so sorry if I mispronounce, okay? We got K-Hound, Ace-Hound, Fly Jess, Vic, Shizzy Hound, T Mac Blaine, Ra, D Thing, as I said before, Lottie, T Dot, Bando, Stunner Gunner, okay, Rome Jelly, Stax Ream, Reefy Millie, J uh, E Day, and JB caught an attempted murder um, rap. And there's a bunch of other people who I don't know if they weren't not cool enough to get nicknames, regardless of what I'm trying to say. They have dropped the hammer on this RPT, you know, gang. And uh, RPT actually stands for. I think it's River Park Towers. Apparently, people in those towers have like a gang, and it goes much deeper than that. I don't want to get too much into it. All I'm just trying to say that to everybody who makes drill music. By the way, I enjoy, yo, I just got onto D-Thing's music. I think he makes fire music. Fire. So D-Thing, if you're ever hearing this, brother, I really like your music. Unfortunately, this is the thing that's going on with drill music, and this is why drill music will never work in New York. Because... What drill music is, and I've seen even Toronto adopt it to a certain extent, drill music really only hits hard when the people involved are demons and really are doing stuff that are crimes. Unfortunately, in some places, they'll turn the, like, they'll look the other way. In Chicago, you could really be demon. They don't, they look like they don't really care about crime in Chicago, okay? Jacksonville, they look like they just, they just always behind an eight ball. So you could probably do some stuff down there, okay? Listen, Toronto, sometimes they don't know what's going on, okay? But in New York City, let me tell you this. And by the way, as I said before, they hit these guys with a conspiracy charge. It's the same charge they hit Bobby Schmurder and GS9 with, okay? It's basically the stepbrother or little sister of the RICO case or the RICO charge that they usually let the feds charge in New York. So in New York, they don't use a state RICO. They let the feds do it because they got a southern uh, a southern district of New York. They go hard. They love the RICO, okay? Those are the ones who got Treyway in them. Those are the ones who got Casanova in them. But from time to time, New York State, they'll use a conspiracy charge, which is pretty much just like the RICO charge because can, you're conspiring to do a bunch of crimes, okay? They're also building an organization when they're saying there's a conspiracy, OK, so essentially you could be a part of the planning, the funding, the shooting, the getting the gun, whatever part of that you are, you're going to get hit with the same charge. So that's their way of hitting somebody with the Rico. OK, now we saw what happened with GS9. We're going to see what happened with these guys. They're definitely less known. And also, I would say there's a couple of like rappers in the mix, but who knows if they're going to be that important that people are going to put their neck on the line monetarily and also try to vouch for these guys to either get out or get lenient sentences. By the way, D things already incarcerated. OK, now, um, if you guys want a little bit more context, this particular, you know, gang that they're charging are the people who are in conflict with K Flox gang. OK, K Flox already locked up for murder. OK, so essentially this is just not good. You're basically having the cops really just charge everybody. And they said they ran this investigation for 18 months. And here's the funny thing about it. About half of the individuals they charged already locked up. 
However, they believe this is a way for them to clean up the streets or make sure the guys that who are locked up, either for weapons charges or whatever else, just don't get out. So once again, when I say this, I hope people who are in New York, because I do love the movement. I'm telling you, K Flock, I've gotten used to his music. He makes amazing music. I've interviewed Beloved, makes amazing music. I like Dougie B. He makes amazing music. He can dance pretty good. I like D Thing as well. I like all these kids coming up. But they have to realize New York is not the place. New York will not be will not be the home of uh, of where y'all think y'all could just act recklessly in the street and then make songs about it, taunting your enemies. Never will happen. And this this is going to be the, the consequence every single time. So again, I encourage the youth getting popping, but they got to think about a different way. Okay, listen, it got to be a different way. All right. Anyway, I don't want to be sitting here trying to have like, you know, a, a how to keep the peace or how to, you know, whatever. Because, again, the youth going to be the youth. But still, I'm just trying to tell y'all, history has shown this won't be the way. All right. Give me a call. Make sure you guys like them. Subscribe. Um, it's unfortunate that some of these guys are making good music. However, there's some violence that really um, carries a part of it. And that's what the cops will not allow to happen. Not in New York. Okay. Give me a call. Make sure you guys like them. Subscribe to Watch Academics. Woo!